Welcome, I am Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. I welcome you to the sanctuary of informed opinions and knowledge on all things pertaining to outdoor cooking. That includes smokers, grills, and outdoor kitchens. And um, today, <clears throat> instead of me just talking about a certain product, I'm actually going to answer readers' emails. Yes, this is a new segment on the show, which I thought would be very, very valuable because I get a lot of great questions, a lot of great queries from across the country. And um, why just isolate it to just me and that uh, that person? I think we should share some of this, share some of this knowledge out there to help you make an informed purchase. So today um, I received an email. This is actually from a few days ago and I won't use their name, but <clears throat> they write, Dear Senor Smoke, yes, they're not even calling me by my birth name. It is the, um, <clears throat> the nom de guerre, as I call it, Senor Smoke, or the appliance dude for the indoor stuff. It's taking hold. Anyway, <clears throat> Dear Senor Smoke, I would like to ask you why you think that the al fresco is better than the Lynx, as you have stated. <clears throat> I am thinking about getting a Lynx, but after seeing your videos, I am now seriously considering the Alfresco. I am torn. I am confused. Please help. Um, okay, so let's address a misconception that's in this email. Um, first of all, I have never, whether it was in a written blog post, nor have I on video ever said that the Alfresco grill is better than the Lynx. I've, go look it up, it's never happened. So I wanna state that, again, I have never, to my knowledge, and I looked at a lot of po stuff I've posted and reviewed some videos, I have never stated that the Alfresco grill is better than the Lynx. What I've said is that the Alfresco is my personal favorite, and if I was beached somewhere and I could only have one gas premium grill, I would go with the Alfresco because of reasons A, B, C, and D, which let's rattle them off. I like its versatility. I like the design integrity of it. I love the burners with the 18SR stainless, uh, which is going to be scale and blistering resistant. And the fourth thing is I love the front loading smoker. Well, it's not a smoker. You can't smoke in a ga gas grill, but the front loading urban fusion system, okay? It's just more flexible and diverse and it's just a great piece of engineering. That's why I love it. But I've never said that it was better than the Lynx. It, Lynx brings a lot to the table. I mean, first of all, the Lynx business dwarfs the Alfresco and pretty much any other gas premium grill on the market. We're not going to include Weber Summit because it's not a gas premium grill. Um, the Lynx is the kingpin, okay? Years ago, DCS was in that position. They have been. Uh, pushed off, usurped the title, whatever. Lynx is running the show, okay? And the Lynx has a lot of great attributes to it. The brass burner, yeah, I understand that I have told people that I don't like the fact that it holds all that heat down low, okay? I just, your heat doesn't need to be at the bottom of the firebox, it needs to be at the great level. But the brass burners hold up. Plus, they're beautiful to look at, right? Um, the burners are great. The accessories, if you're building an outdoor kitchen, it's inc got incredible breadth. Um, they've now introduced under-counter storage drawers that don't have handles, so they're kind of brand agnostic. You can use them with ever, any type of uh, grill setup that you get. The customer service with Lynx is phenomenal, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I have worked with their people to design outdoor kitchens, and they by far knock all the other brands, they shame them, quite honestly. Some of these other brands I'm waiting upwards to one to two weeks to get a design back. Lynx turn stuff around 24 to 48 hours with a rendering. They do the best job at that. And again, the customer service is phenomenal. They're owned by the Middleby Corporation now, which says a lot. It's a company that really focuses on quality assurance and making sure that you know the stuff works. So um, please do not, and, and to my reader, my emailer, you know, don't think that I said that it's a better grill 
and to buy it because of that reason. I never said that. I mean, they both bring very, very positive things to the table. I personally, you know, I've had an alfresco now for two years. I'm very comfortable with it. My mom owns a Lynx. I've cooked on that as well, the all sear Lynx. So, you know, I'm going to present the information to you and, uh, and, and then you guys got to run with it and make the right decision for yourself. Um, so I, I just wanted to knock this one because this, this came in fresh the other day and you know there was there, it was there was a misconception in there so that is my uh, stated uh, opinion on this I'm not saying it's better than it they're both great in their own right they're just different and uh, you have to go uh, figure out what is going to work for you if you want the versatility the flexibility you know go with the al fresco okay you can drop in the solid fuel you can steam and fry with it you got the front loading smoke or urban fusion system you know you got the hidden rotisserie you know Lynx doesn't have that but Lynx is bringing other things to the table I mean quite frankly a lot of people that I speak to think the Lynx looks better so um, it'll increase the sexiness factor of your of your outdoor island amongst other things so that is the Senor Smoke stated opinion on Lynx versus al fresco as we stand here or sit here and in August of 2017. Any questions, Jonathan at Curtis.com. Thank you.